They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They'll look to throw now on first down. They'll find Metcalf. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. That completes it again to Metcalf. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 25 yards, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Chris Godwin, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. to the 34-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Brought down. Right call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. The running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to get much. Maybe a couple. And it's second down. on the tackle. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. Again, it's Jones, and he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down of the 32-yard line. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. This offense two for two converting on these thus far, so why not try again here on fourth down? They'll go for it. They'll look to throw. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The big man P.J. Hall had the path to the QB there. First down, Hurts. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. A 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, that has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and 10. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's another. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. Now, all through this one, they've had nothing but success throwing the football. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin with his third. taken down, but a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. It's a pick up of 15 and a fresh set of downs. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! A big play there with his second touchdown of the end. Complete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 25 yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. From four yards out. Second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here at a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, 
Did I just hear that correctly? That you declined that one? I can think of that someone on the field got confused. Because he had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. 11 more on that one, and another first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. And one of the whistles for a timeout. Tackle made. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Second down. Here's Hurts. A quick pass here to Godwin. And the Buccaneers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. That'll be a gain of 16, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Hurts. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin there to make the grab. County said I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. 
okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay for way. Jugging on the main stage with the mainframe. Loosen up your face, baby. Sometimes I need a vacation. Meditate, hydrate, protect my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. Huh. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, cause you force a nature. Boss. I don't wanna seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I wanna see. Ocean from residences, three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where your permit Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that At the front of this line is where my turn at Sometimes you need a friend, not the ones that you know Don't put nothing in, you know the ones that lend their hand and wanna see you win When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in And then, sometimes you need a foe Oh Men gon' lie, women gon' lie, you lookin' for the truth and the numbers don't hide Lookin' for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes Everybody claim to be great at spa times, but they never spend a day in the rain in the front line No lie, stop playing on my phone line Pull up in the space group with the roof, I'm should know, wonder why they follow suit I've been groomed from the womb, came out of my mama with some running tennis shoes That's the dinner speed and bullet Nah, 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 it's cool, it's cool Don't play with it, baby Say, yo, so what you gon' do? Lemonade. Tie me up in chains, I'll get through the pain. Taste sweet on my face, like it's lemonade. They say fall and you let go. But I know I got an antidote to retain some kind of self-control. Look inside my head through a telescope. You were raised so the calls from a telephone. No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke. Holding back your tears, singing minimal syllables. Yeah. Look at me, out of the asylum Was a fate or mistake, cause the time ain't up Yet a part of my mind don't get much love If you want in my head, come and call me up You look like a twisted Robin Hood Do you take from the rich and the poor and us Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pugs In a town you could rate where there ain't no love I drip out from the socket to a teacup, drink up inside, look when they beep us. Juice us in the belly of the beast, but outside there's a war going on on your front lawn. Black hawk, see the red dawn horizon. Blind yet I'm rising, abiding by laws of attraction, my thoughts still rising. Thank you. What type of knowledge don't sink in? Life gives you limits and my only thought is drinking. Percy, will I be alive or dead before 30? This all that concerns me early. Lemonade quenching my inner rage when it takes to the stage way before they pouring on my grave. Been it made, let it set my soul ablaze. On each and every way, put me in the water for the save. They don't know my name.
Ain't your eyelids automatic? Grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame. Get the money, I'm out in LA where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't have food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you cannot take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I showed you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the hand out of the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper. What's left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals.
And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down. Los Angeles. Herbert off of play action. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On second and 10, the ball back with Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 39. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. The 37-yard line. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 20-yard line. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of 11, and that'll bring up second down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. That ball complete to Isabella. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Andy Isabella, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. This is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've you been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere. But you really have. You're in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, so you know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. Murray will give. This is Drake. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Great. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing on first down is Murray. That's caught by Keyshawn Johnson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 44-yard line. On second down, it's Drake. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, 
and pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Murray from midfield. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there, first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. Pass the 20. 10, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Now this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Cardinals take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now Murray. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand. Put it behind you, keep pressing forward. Sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. And some room to... And I think the ball's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Out of the gun, Herbert going deep here for Allen. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right, it felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. At the 14-yard line. On second and nine, Murray. He's going to air one out. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. He's picked off near his own 48, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Two seconds to go, first quarter. After the turnover, here's Herbert. That's who is running back, Edwards Alaire. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. First down, Chargers. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Now it's Herbert. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again. Herbert, that's into the hands of Edwards. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. And it is now 21 to nothing. Makes the score. Chargers 21. Cardinals nothing. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Their own 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any point. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And this one will be brought back to the 22. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if you're starting through four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Clyde Edwards-Alaire, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Their own 25-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. That one covers 29 yards. First down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On first and ten, here's Murray. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Murray. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 26. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. Buying time to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Tyler Croft, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football down 
field, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes, it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Byron Murphy, the one who got a hand in to knock it away. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Third and long, it's Herbert. And that will be incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. At their own 38-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Murray going to fire one out wide. Not much there, only a yard. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Murray throwing complete there to Hopkins. That catch good for five. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Back-to-back no. -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And now here is another interception. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. Oh, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Herbert now. 
Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was trying to get that one to Allen that time, but it's going to be second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Second and ten, here's Herbert once more. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. And the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Third and long. Play action. It's Herbert. He'll buy some time right. And that is incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there now. 56. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the slam, complete to Hopkins. It's a foot race. 20, 10, touchdown, Cardinals. DeAndre Hopkins as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. So what you're saying is if they take the ball down to start the second half and score again, it could change the entire complexion of this game, couldn't it? Absolutely. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Flush, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They'll start the drive with Drake. 
And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Throwing on second and three. Murray Johnson with a completion over the middle. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. On first down, Drake. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And to give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. And the result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run on first down. Drake gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Out to his left, complete to his running back, Kenyon Drake. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Running, it's Drake. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Throwing is Murray on third down. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Keyshawn Johnson, his first touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. The Cardinal offense not going anywhere. They'll stay out and go for two. Murray now. Blitz coming and down he goes. But they tried to get two and ended up getting none. Because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. A shotgun snap for Herbert. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Jordan Phillips. 
Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it, and this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. But a good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Yard line. To throw is Murray, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Drake, and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. A gain of three, second down. He really hasn't been able to get on track running the football, averaging less than four yards a carry. Yeah, I think that they're going to enjoy the film session because all the defenders are filling their proper gaps on just about every play. And you know what they always say for a defensive coach, when I click off this film, I better see 11 jerseys in the picture going after the ball carry. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Good. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. First and goal at the three-yard line. Try and pound it in with Drake. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. From three yards out. And the Cards use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. You get down near the goal line, this is what having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead is down to two. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Chargers take over first and ten. The Charger drive about to get going. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Trey Hendrickson, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. It's second down. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Out of the gun, Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain of 31 yards. That goes for a gain of 31. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Open man is Edwards. He's got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. First down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A great play there. 
with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Cardinals take over first and 10. At their own Arizona's team. offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Murray again, second and ten. Throw here is incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. And it's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. Baker there defensively. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Oh, the return is Reed. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On second down, here's Herbert. And this one incomplete. Herbert. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well, think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First Line of scrimmage, the 37 down. on first and 10. Here's Edwards Alaire. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, L.A. Andy Isabella with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Michael Badgley Badgley on for the extra point. Extra point. <laughs> and that one could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. Chargers 42, Cardinals 26. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. 25 yard line. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell Ma? And my goodness, another interception. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Michael Badgley lining up for him. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cardinals take over first and 10. And Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Murray trying again after the pick six. And now here is another interception. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Michael Badgley lining up. Defensively, the they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. From the gun, Murray. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. At the 35-yard line. Shotgun now from Murray. Steps away. Throw left side complete. It's Drake. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. At the 48-yard line. Murray now on first down. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Murray. He gets it left side to Johnson. Touchdown, Cardinals! Keyshawn Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They're in control here as they start first and ten and appearing to have righted the ship following that two-game losing streak. Now a deep ball here hauled in just past the 50. 
And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 71 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And you hate to see this for them, but they're looking at yet another loss to begin this season. Things really going from bad to worse as they trail here starting this drive first and 10 in the fourth quarter. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. And he comes back with one complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And this is going to be incomplete. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for them because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did them no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense, it's going to be a real tough one for them. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. As it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Throwing on first down is Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. The 20, 10, and he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. Second and goal. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Well, the PAT would extend their league, but there is a flag on the play. Mike Badgley to kick off for the Chargers. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And we will get a timeout. 
with two ticks left. Now a second down and six. Let's go, D. They serious right here. We got to step it up. Murray, one final try. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Chargers, it may not be too late to salvage their season as the win moves them to 2-5 and five now on the year. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, the downward spiral continues as they drop to 0-6 now. And they'll look to get back on the beam next week as they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.